Hey you guys! So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review on the Kim Kardashian Cream Liquid Lipstick Kit. I'm actually really excited to try this out. I've actually heard really great things about this, so I honestly really hope I like them. Here's what it looks like. You get four cream liquid lipsticks in here. They're all nudes, obviously, because Kim Kardashian is all about the nude. Pun not intended. Damn it, that was honestly an accident. But yeah, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches for you guys, some lip swatches as well, just to show you guys what it would look like on me personally and just the way how it wears and how I feel about it. And then disclaimer here, I am not getting paid to talk about this product at all whatsoever. These are just my own opinions. Even if I was paid to talk about it, I would still be completely and 100% honest with you guys. I'm never gonna be one of those people that gets paid to talk about a product and I have to say that I like it and I'll lie to your guys' face. I'm not like that. I'm never gonna do that to you guys. Just so you know, I also do not hate Kim Kardashian. I do not like Kim Kardashian. I've never met the girl, so I really have no real personal opinion of her. I'm not gonna go and bash her product because I don't like her. And I'm not gonna go and say, oh, I love this product because I like her. I'm gonna be completely a 100% honest with you guys. If I honestly do just sincerely like the product, then I like the product. And if I don't like the product, then I don't like the product that simple. So yeah, if you guys want to watch this Kim Kardashian Beauty Cream Liquid Lipstick Review, then just keep on watching. All right, you guys, here's the product. It retails for $45 and you get four cream liquid lipsticks. You get 0.11 ounces of product in this. I'm pretty sure if I'm reading that right, it's in very tiny letters, but I'm pretty sure that's how much you get with this. The first one I'm going to be swatching for you guys is in the shade Kimberly. This one's a really pretty peachy nude color. I feel like this one is going to be really, really pretty for the summer. Time. The next shade I'm gonna go ahead and swatch for you guys is in the shade Kim. This one is a really pretty peachy nude. Definitely a little bit more liquidy feeling than the last one I just swatched, as you guys can see. The next one I'm gonna swatch for you guys is in the shade Kiki, and this one is a lot more of a pinky nude. I'm definitely gonna love this shade in the summertime as well. And then the last one I'm gonna swatch for you guys is in the shade Kimmy. And I feel like this color is honestly just a true deep nude pink. I actually think this one's definitely gonna be my favorite. I feel like this is definitely gonna be the one. One I am going to be reaching for the most. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and do a lip swatch for you guys on these and see how I feel about them on me and see how they wear and how they feel and I will let you guys know. So here are my final thoughts on these lipsticks. I honestly do really like them. They wear like a totally normal lipstick. They're just in liquid lipstick bottle form. It's not gonna wear like a liquid lipstick. It's not gonna last all day. It's not gonna be like somewhat mattifying. Like you can tell this is gonna be just like a normal lipstick. It's gonna come off. You're gonna have to keep reapplying it, which I honestly don't mind. I mean, I like wearing lipsticks, so I really don't mind having to do that. If you're more of a lipstick person, then I do recommend actually trying these out. I feel like they're gonna wear pretty nice. They honestly feel really nice on the lips right now. They feel really satiny on the lips. I think that's the best way I can explain it. It feels like I'm not really wearing anything, which I like personally for a lipstick. I am really loving this color though in the shade Kimmy. This one is so cute. I think this one was my favorite out of the bunch for sure. And yeah, honestly, as far as formula goes, I feel like this is really nice. I actually personally really like it. I was able to put like two layers on 
and it didn't ruin it, it didn't make it look crusty, it didn't make it look flaky. It looks like as if I just put a regular lipstick on. That's honestly what it looks like, that's what it feels like. Now, as far as the price point goes on these, I honestly do feel like the price point is right. These retail for $45, which means you'd basically be getting them for maybe somewhere around $11.50 each, which really is not a bad price point. Personally, I like them. I think they wear really nicely. I've had this one on my lips for quite a while and it still feels pretty satiny which I like. I know for a fact this is definitely gonna transfer. This is not gonna last on your lips. So if you're looking for a lipstick that actually lasts and is very long wearing, I don't recommend these for that. But if you want a really comfortable feeling lipstick that you don't mind reapplying every now and then, then I do recommend these. The colors honestly are gorgeous. As you guys saw from those swatches, they are amazing. I love nude lipsticks. They are my favorite lipsticks to wear. So I do feel like I'd wind up getting a lot of use out of these, which is also amazing. And I honestly did really love it personally. That was a huge shock for me. I didn't think I was gonna like these as much as I do, especially after the swatches. They didn't look like that nice on the swatches. I thought they were gonna look the same way on the lips and they didn't, so that was a huge surprise for me. I was very happy with that, and yeah, they definitely get an approved rating from me. And yeah, you guys, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and have a great rest of your night or day, wherever you guys may be. I will see you guys in my next video, and remember, stay weird, my friends. Bye, you guys. With lipsticks in here, you get, you get, ah, but yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going,